Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com and here are five interesting JDBC facts that you might find interesting. So the first one is the fact that JDBC actually doesn't stand for anything. Technically, it is a trademarked term and it is a term all on its own. So if you actually open up the JDBC, JDBC specification from Oracle, you will notice that the words Java database connectivity doesn't appear in it because legally JDBC is a term on its own. So that's kind of interesting, although let's face it, we all know that JDBC stands for Java database connectivity, but the lawyers will argue that no, it is just a word all on its own. Second fact, JDBC is just for relational databases. So your MySQL, your Apache Derby, Microsoft SQL Server, IBM DB2, those are all fine. You want to get into a NoSQL world with your friend Cassandra, MongoDB, maybe even a, a graph database, you're out of luck. You need to go to Spring Data or some other framework in order to connect to your NoSQL databases. The third fact, JDBC connections are expensive. So don't open up connections if you don't need to. And if you're running on an application server or database heavy application, use connection pooling. Um, so connection pools just create a pool of connections, maybe five or 10 or 20, um, and then it just uses them over and over again. So the overhead of setting them up and tearing them down constantly goes away. The fourth fact, you can connect to an ODBC database using the JDBC ODBC bridge. Uh, so that allows you to connect to Microsoft Access, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, any other uh, technology that is ODBC compliant but may not have a JDBC driver. Now it's probably going to be slow because you're marshalling back and forth from JDBC to ODBC and uh, you may have a limited feature set, but for the basics uh, it's pretty easy to use. And finally, a JDBC is stable. It really hasn't changed too much in 20 years. I'm sure the people maintaining the specification won't be too amused to hear that, but we're currently at version four. So in 20 years, we've got to version four and every new version, there are incremental changes and, and features added. And I think with Java 9, we saw a lot of integration with JDBC with uh, uh, closures and streams. Um, but you know, the code that I wrote 20 years ago, uh, it'll still work today if I uh, connect to the underlying database and, and run my queries. So JDBC, your relational data, really hasn't changed too much in 20 years. And there you go. Those are five interesting facts about JDBC that every Java developer should know.